games go, good games stay, a duck opinion quack plays. A duck's opinion. What's up guys, The Duck Opinion here. We're doing more survival craft as I try my damnedest to hold this camera steady. But I want to show you in survival craft, it's really cool because even if you like Minecraft, you can go to Get Connected, go to Community, and you can download all sorts of stuff from Community. Would you not be blurry camera? That'd be totally awesome. As you see here, you can download tons of different types of maps and different types of texture packs. You can upload your own, and you can download stuff people have made. So I could make like maybe a duck craft on here, and I could upload it for you guys to make. And I want to show you some examples of that. Let's go to single player, and these are some of the maps I've uh, downloaded. So one's Newtown 2025. Someone tried to download Newtown 25. We have Craft World, Cool Mansion. I mean, it's, the only ones that are mine is this one right here at the bottom, which they give you random names when you build a house, and this one at the top that we played in the first look. So I just want to let's go to Newtown 2025. Five, and I can show you what it's like. I will say this is not the best looking new town ever, but you guys can see what I mean. So here it is. It's on a flat world. Yes, you can have flat worlds in this game if you want. So let's fly up a little bit and give you guys a better look. Yeah, as you see, I mean, it's not the greatest new town map ever. I mean, he tried. Good job, guy that tried. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. It looks all right, but it's really tiny. But one thing I really wanted to show you guys is the texture packs, man. Man, even Minecraft 360 doesn't even have texture packs. So what you can do is you can go over here to options. Oh my God, I totally didn't mean quit. Damn it. <laughs> but you can go over to options and you can select different texture packs. Now I have a couple texture packs. I have one uh, Zelda texture pack, which makes everything look like a Zelda theme. I also have another texture pack, which is the one I'm going to show you. Let's go to settings, block texture. So I have the Zelda, but look at that. Minecraft. What? You have a Minecraft one? So even if you don't like the look of this and you like the look of Minecraft, you could still play in a Minecraft setting. So doesn't this look exactly like Minecraft now? I mean, look at it. The signs are the same. The Everything's the same. Like, you go over here and look at all the blocks. I mean, some of them are purple because there's no Minecraft block for it, but the food's the same. The buckets aren't the same. Some of the picks are the same. The eggs aren't the same. But the general blocks, like these and, like, you know, just the general blocks you'll build with, diamonds, they're pretty much all the same. So it's really cool, man. This game has freaking texture packs. So even if you don't think it looks good, you can download something that will. I think this game is actually better than Minecraft Pocket Edition. I mean, this game is freaking sick, and it costs only $4. Isn't Pocket Edition like 8 I'm just saying. So here's the Zelda, the, the Zelda theme one. You see it's really easy to just switch texture packs. Well... Go, that's like your inventory. We'll go here, and you see you got little mushrooms. I mean, some of this stuff won't show up in it, but... It just looks really, really cool, you know? I like the fact that you can have like texture packs and such like that. But um, I will say that this is a third generation iPod and some of the maps that I downloaded are pretty laggy. They're pretty laggy. So I imagine if you make something big and pretty, pretty sick, then it would be pretty laggy. So let me go, I think maybe Craft World was the one I played on. This map has a crap load of stuff on it. And it made my iPod lag pretty bad. But this game is pretty amazing. I mean, there's a few things here and there that I gripe about, but they can fix that stuff in updates. And this game does get updated a lot. I think this is it, like this is the 27th update for this game. So it is pretty sick, and uh, I like it a lot. I definitely would recommend Survival Craft if it would ever load. Here's my fingers. But oh, we still have that texture pack on. Let's switch it back to the original texture pack. Because some of these texture packs don't have textures for certain things. So I like, I like keeping it under the default. I actually think the default is a really pretty texture pack. I mean, if you think Minecraft's really ugly, but you like the block idea and like building and such, then you'll really love this. So here we are in this dude's world. Let's fly a little bit. It should be pretty laggy, though. This dude, I don't know who built it, but he has a very big world. And as you can see, it gets pretty laggy. But yeah, he built this like whole little... This town. And it's pretty sick. I you see getting some lag. This the city's actually too big for me. It just lags my iPod. But I'm sure on fourth gen, fifth gen iPods it'd run a lot better. But I mean it runs without lag when I play it on my worlds. So I don't know, maybe this world's just too much. It's too much to handle. I don't know, but I just wanted to really show you guys a not really first look. I mean we already did a first look, but I really wanted to show you guys the texture packs. Because I thought it was really cool. But as you see, 
there is some lag here and there with this game, especially when you are playing on bigger worlds, but that's probably because of the third gen iPod. So yeah, that was sort of Biflecraft, and I was showing off the texture packs and how you can get connected and download maps and download textures, and that's really, really cool. So camera, quit being bloggy, quit being foggy. I don't even know. But if you guys like this, let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, and I can do some more videos. I'm going to work on trying to get some iPod iPod Touch videos out soon of Minecraft and Survival Craft. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it's not as blurry as this, but if these videos do good, I will try to get a recording program for this and give you guys better content. But we'll see how it does. That is Survival Craft and their texture packs, which is amazing. Go out and get this game. It's only $4. It's like almost half the price of Minecraft Pocket Edition, and it's well worth it. Talk to you guys later. Ducks can fly. Peace.